All right, so I am um, gonna start with, I don't have a YouTube studio. I don't have a little makeup set section set up. Um, I'm literally sitting at like a bar in my house. Um, I've got some outside lights, some inside lights. It's a little cloudy outside, so lighting may not be perfect. Um, and I am by no means a makeup guru professional at all. I've just had some ladies ask me to do a tutorial and when um, THM came out with their Liddy, I thought it would be a great time to go ahead and show it. I'll have to lean in. So I have on most of my makeup, but nothing, no eyeshadow or anything. Um, I did put on an eyeshadow primer and it's just something free I got from Anastasia like a year ago. Um, so this is what um, the colors are. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all the colors at any point, but I've used a lot of them so far. Um, and I do wear glasses, so I can't see very well what you're seeing. Um, and because of that, I will do my eyeshadow a little bit darker because um, it doesn't come through as dark if you're wearing glasses. So the first step, oh, and I've got brushes and I've been collecting these for years. Um, one set I got with my FabFitFun box, it's going to be the gold set. And then the silver ones, I believe I got through Morphe um, a couple years ago, maybe for Christmas. Um, this is just a Dollar Tree Wet n Wild and I have a couple of these. I love it for um, buffering, buffing, 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 buffing. And then I love this guy, it's a real techniques brush. I use it for under, because I'll put a little eyeshadow under my eye. So, um, my first step is I'm going to find just a, a neutral kind of shade. And a lot of times, I need to put paper over this, it's so easy to use my hand. Okay, so, for my first shade, I will either use this one, or this one. Um, you just want something light in your crease. So I'll go ahead and do the first one and I cannot read the name. It's next to the lightest color <laughs> and the yellow color. So just put a little bit on my brush. Um, it's not compact, but if you get too much, you can always tap it off. And then I'm gonna have a mirror right here because I have to be able to see what I'm doing. So um, I just kind of do like a windshield wiper technique back and forth. And this guy is just kind of here for, um, to put your other eyeshadow on. Now, there are ladies who spend 15, 20 minutes doing eyeshadow and making sure everything is buffed perfectly. And I'm not going to sit here and buff my eyeshadow for minutes. I'm just not. Um... Not even, I mean, if it's a really, really, like, even whenever we, like, on a cruise, if it's elegant night, um, I might do a little bit extra, but let me see if you can even see. Um, so I've got a little bit more on this eye, and now I'm going to keep adding just a little bit to this eye. And again, I'll show you the color I'm using from the Liddy. Um, it's this guy right here next to the lightest color is what I'm using for... I, may, I think it might be called a transition shade, um, but I'm just using the windshield wiper motion back and forth and kind of building that up just a little bit. And again, um, as I do this and you think it's like at your level, then I wouldn't keep adding any more colors. But like I said, when I put on my glasses, it really mutes everything down. So I do mine, like I said, just a little bit darker than maybe somebody who doesn't wear glasses. And I do like makeup, so if I add too much, then just take it back a, a level or two or a step or whatever you want to call it. And again, I've never done this before, so this is first time ever doing <clears throat> makeup on a video. So just this is probably, I think, the third time I'm adding just a little bit of that really light color. And now I'm going to, um, and one thing about these eyeshadows, a lot of them have some sparkle. I am not, I'm a matte girl with a little sparkle. So it's been interesting with me trying to figure out how I really want to use these. But most of their glitter and sparkle isn't like in your face too much. 
but I have found because I am 46, I am aging, I've got the wrinkles and the age spots. The sparkly stuff is not my favorite, but it's not too much over the top, so um, I think it's fine. All right, so my next shade I'm going to use next. I'm going to use, so I just used this one. Now I'm going to use this one next to that kind of pink shade, this one right here. If I had my glasses on, I could tell you the names, but I cannot see them. And so I'm just, okay, let me show you how I did that, just in case you, um, I don't like stab it and swirl it. I just kind of, sorry, I've never done this, so this is brand new. So basically, I just take my brush and I just kind of, where is it at? There it is, dab on top. So I'm not like coating my brush with an insane amount of eyeshadow. And I'm starting at the edge and I'm just kind of bringing it in and I'm using a, a kind of a flat, flat, how about fat, um, slightly pointed. I'll show you the difference between my very well loved used Dollar Tree wet mild brush. I think you can see the difference in how this one's a little bit tapered and this one is just fat all the way out. So I'm just starting at the edge and bringing it in just lightly and I'm going to do the same thing, just dab it on and then start here. And as you can see, I'm just kind of, and I don't know if it looks like I'm like really smashing, I'm just barely touching my eyelid. Okay, so for many ladies, and I can see the sparkle, like this is going to be probably as much as you want. I'm going to keep going. Let me see. Like I have glasses are just a funny thing and I'm going to have a, a glare and everything, but I'm going to see if you can see the difference between like what this looks like right here and then with my glasses on. Like, do I even have eyeshadow on? All right. So now I'm going to go darker and I have, I, when I picked this up today, I had no idea what I'm going to do. So this is just me doing on the fly. All right. I'm going to do on the bottom. I cannot read that word. I'm going to use, I think it's that one, this one right here. And again, I'm just tapping the top, the tip of the brush. I'm going to start at the outside and just kind of move in a little bit. And I'm kind of concentrating right at my crease. Um, I'm not like going all over my eyelid. I'm just kind of getting at the edge and moving in and sticking in that little crease area. So basically what I've been doing is I've been building up from that very first shade. And I have not used this brush to buff at all. I just, I'm not. I'm telling you, I've watched video YouTube videos and the ladies are just going and going and going and just making sure. And I'm like, I don't have 15 minutes for eyeshadow. So now what I'm going to do, is what brushes do I have? Mm, I guess I'll stick with this brush. I'm going to go with the second darkest color. And I use it a lot on my eyebrows, as you can see. So I'm going to use this color and I'm going to work at just trying to make sure I get the tip and I'm not going to swirl. I'm not going to go crazy because one thing about eyeshadow, it's kind of like salt. You can slowly add your salt or you can add too much salt and you got to start over. So I'm just going to tip, tap the tip a little. Maybe I think you can see it a little bit on there and I'm just going to start at the edge and I'm not starting like way down here. I'm starting right Here's my, my line right here. I'm going to start like right on the other side of that line so I don't have eyeshadow way down here. And I'm just gently moving it in. And I'll see if you can see a difference. I don't know if you can. You should be able to see just a little bit darker on this eye than this eye. Because I'm just trying to slowly darken it without just going. And my favorite word, way to where my eyeshadow is, um, darken the crease and then a lighter here and then really light up here. That's my typical way. Now sometimes I'll do um, 
dark on my um, the lid right here, but that's not very common. Okay, so right here is where I think most ladies would not go past, especially for every day. I'm going to do just a tiny bit more, again, because my glasses are really going to um, buffer out. I, just, I need a better word. I've never done this, and doing it live is a little bit scary. So I just got the tip in again. So I'm not swirling it in. I'm just getting the tip. And then just kind of starting right here and trying to keep it right there at the crease. I don't want to bring it way up here. And then just bring the excess over. So I'm trying to concentrate on the outside and bring it in. Just tapped it again. There's words I can't see. I'll put my glasses on and see if I can see them, but I still can't guarantee. It's so far away. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so let's see if you can see the difference. Let's see, here's my glasses. I do have a glare from the lights. Now without glasses. So that's like a huge difference. And so for most ladies, I only need my glasses for reading up close. But these glasses, I'm reading all the time, and they are, I guess, prescription. So then they don't bother my eyes walking and, and doing everything with them. So I just wear them all day just because I'm constantly reading stuff. Um, and they don't, like, so many ladies are so cute, and they can just keep them on top of their head. But I don't know if my head is weird shaped, but they don't, they don't sit on my head. So I just wear them all day. Anyway, you don't care. So one more time, I'm going to darken it just a tiny bit. And then I've got a really good trick I want to show you for um, the color I'm going to put here. Just barely dab. Just on the outside again. Gently moving it in. Not trying to concentrate too much. Not trying to just like bam and then more and more. It's just kind of a slow process but again I'm not going to be here all day long doing eyeshadow because I have things to do errands to run. Alright so I'm going to use this brush for the first time. I've had this brush for I don't know if it's 10 years, but it feels like it. I got it from Dollar Tree. It's wet and wild. It's well loved. And generally, it's just kind of my brush that I do go in and just kind of do a little sweep. Make sure there's no harsh lines. And, it's, and again, it's just real gentle. It's like just so soft on, the, on, on my eye. It's not strong. All right, so I'm going to show you this color. This is probably one of my favorite colors in this palette right there um it's a light i don't know peachy color so i'm gonna put it on and then i'm gonna show you a trick so first i take a brush like this it's just a little flat brush again i got these from fab fit fun and i have that much on there i just kind of i think i've gently wiped it three times if you put too much eyeshadow like this on your brush um, even a good brand, you're going to get what's called fallout. And that's where you're going to get all underneath here, um, pieces of eyeshadow that you're going to have to clean up. Some women do eyes first and then the rest of their face. I'm opposite. I do everything and then eyes last. I don't know why I do it that way. But if you do a lot of times end up with fallout, it might be a good idea to do your eyes and then your face. All right. So how I put this on. I gotta use my mirror, um, and then I kind of will get up so you can sh I can show you. So I close my eye and I just gently do this to the lid. Now I do not have a big eyelid, and I also often will have hooded eyes. I don't do a good cut crease, um, and so like a lot of times because how my eyes are when I open my eye, this will sometimes touch up here. So I'll show you one thing I do to kind of help with that. Okay, so there it is, I'm gonna do this eye. And I'm just gently patting it on my eyelid. Okay, my trick is, this is, um, I got this, I think from Ulta. Then I filled it up with a different type of setting spray. So I'm going to use this, I, I use it because I have a little travel bag that I put it in. So I'm going to take that same side and I'm going to spray it with the setting spray. So now I want to show you what my eyes look right now. 
I don't know how big of a difference it's going to make on the camera because I've never done this, so we'll see. But in real life, I think it makes a huge difference. So I just wiped, or swiped that same color. I'm not sure it's going to make a huge difference on camera, but we'll see. I think I can see a difference here. All right, so I did this eye with the spray, and this eye just has the color with no spray. I don't know if you can see, but it makes it more vibrant, like brighter. Um, it really seems to make a difference in um, the intensity. So I'm going to do it again. So I'm not sure you can see for sure. Um, I did this color the other day like that. I think it was this one. So like my eyelids were super like dark and bright and bold. So I ended up having to put a little eyeliner on there because it was a little bit much. But it does make a huge difference. I'm going to try to <laughs> read your words. Okay, great. So like sometimes if you want to add just a little bit of extra like pop, that same color becomes brighter and bolder with just a little. I think you probably even use water, but I have so much setting spray from things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this eye. I just one spray this time. Hmm. I'm not sure you can see all that spray. All right, so just gently swipe. Get a little bit on the rest. You can see the, the setting spray. It will also help your eyeshadow last for hours and hours and hours. Okay, so... Okay, so that's how it, I'm going to try to read your words and then show you something. Oh, great. Okay, so here's what it looks like right now. And then here's my glasses. So as you can see, in my opinion, it really does kind of mute it. So I do make mine a bit more just because I do all this work and then you can't even see it. So, okay, so. What I like to do after I do the lid part right here is I go in with a little bit of the dark color, just, just dabbing, just a tiny bit on there, and then I just kind of sweep across again. If there's any of that other color that kind of moved up, just going to kind of erase that. Okay, now I do like the light color in here, so I'm going to use that lightest color in that corner. Just put a little bit on the brush and then I'd like to do up here. All right, now, one thing that I like to do that is completely, well, everything is optional, but I like to take one of the medium to dark colors that I use and then I use this brush, which is a flat kind of fluffy just a little bit because here's a flat brush and then here's this let me see if I'm on top so you can see it's a little bit fluffier than flat but it's not technically fluffy I guess hopefully that makes sense so I'm going to use this middle brush that again is a real technique but you can use whatever you've got I mean if I didn't have this I'd figure something else out um, and I'm going to use the third darkest color in the palette, the third on the bottom. So it goes like the black, the really dark brown, and then whatever color that is. I'm sorry, I can't read the words. And basically what I've done is I've tapped just that tip right there. And then I'm, I'm probably going to look really weird. Again, I've never done this. So we're gonna, if, you, if I look weird, just go ahead and laugh. It's fine. So I'm going to put it under my eye. I'm going to do it again. I think I might have got some in my eye. Um, again, just right there. Okay. Oh, I feel like I see my age. 
Okay, so I don't know if you can like see how different it looks, but to me, I prefer the way this looks over this. I feel like it kind of just gives a bit more definition and shape than leaving it like that. But that's my opinion, that's how I like it. Um, and one thing I like to do, and again, I've never done this on camera, so I feel kind of awkward. Um, I, and I like to use colors that I've already put up here for the most part. So like when I, I do this, I bring it down. And so like what happens is the majority gets put here and then the, it gets lighter and lighter as you come into your inner corner. And so then I also like to connect with the colors up here. I think I got a shadow on my eye. I will call him back. My husband's calling. All right, so I don't know if you can really tell, um, but I, it's for me, I can see like there's a difference between the way this eye looks and this eye, and I just like having that extra definition. So I'm going to do it again, and I ended up using the two darkest without the black. So I'll show you if that sounds confusing. So I used this one first and then the second time I did this one and a little bit of that one just because I didn't feel like it was that dark oh he wants to talk to me I'm almost done all right so I'll do the same thing I'll just do that lighter color first and then I'll go back in with that light and a little bit darker so you can just see just kind of on the Okay, um, sorry, y'all can hear my ACs. I'm in Texas, it's hot still. Okay, now, I would hope I'll do this on camera. I might, um, this is another optional step, but I do like eyeliner. I have some purples and some things like that, but my go-to is generally black. Uh, it's just, a lot of times I won't uh, even wear much eyeshadow, but I'll do a little eyeliner and mascara, but again, I do like makeup, so. Um, this is just a cheap one from Walmart. And one tip, you may like it, you may not like it, um, is I take my waterline eyeliner and I go up just a little bit up here. So it just goes up just a little bit. And this is what it looks like between the eyeliner with the eyeliner. And I'm not pulling down, I'm just gently, just a gentle I don't know, push, press down just enough. Now, completely optional, and I rarely ever do it, um, uh, is this on the top right here next to my eyelashes. That's really reserved for, in my, for me if I'm really wanting to put on makeup. Now, Sunday or whatever day I used that one color and it was just so intense. I felt like I needed a barrier between my eyelashes and my eyeshadow because it was just so much, even with my glasses. So I did do this, but this is, um, for me, it's rare and it is a little difficult. You gotta take time. And one tip I do have is you start very lightly right here and you just kind of almost dots or dashes because I can't tell you how many times I've ended up with, oh, I'm at a little bit more, oh, gotta fix that one, to the point of, I don't have to start over, but it's way more eyeliner than I intended. Um, so, for I I do like this uh, mascara. For me, it does take a little bit of time to build up. You may not care about how I do the, eye, the mascara, but this is how I like to do it. I like to start on my outside, on um, both eyes, outside and then finish with the rest of them do my bottom and then do the top again so then I'll bring it and then I will do the same thing on the outside and then finish on the inside. I'll probably do it just one more time. I feel like when
going to come in like this. Like my face does not naturally look like this. That's just an odd shape. But again, I, I, I wish I was some sort of YouTube guru makeup person, but Okay, so I'll do it one more time on the top. That's pretty much it. So, if I was doing this without all the chatter, I could probably be done within five minutes. Oh, I do have one tiny tip. Um, if you have a little tiny brush Let's compare it to what I've been using for my eyeshadow, that main one. So you see how much smaller that little guy is? So what I'll do is I'm gonna take that lightest, lightest shade and I'm just gonna kinda gently swirl because it's a point. Can you see, I got a little bit on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in my inner corners. It doesn't do a whole lot with my glasses, but in person it does add like a little pop in the inner corner. And I don't know, let me get really, really close, I'm really awkward. So you can see I just did like just a tiny bit right there. And then if you want to do even more, which some ladies will do, is you take the same brush, just a tiny bit on there, and you swipe it on your nose. And then another little tip is take that same color and you do your Cupid's bow. I don't know if you can even see right here, but it just adds a little highlight right there. That's it. I don't know if this was helpful or not. I don't know. Um, I was too awkward. Um, but if you do have questions, if you watch this later and you have some uh, questions or you'd like to see another tutorial, let me know. I'm just, just a mom about to head to Maurice's and Costco. That's it. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.